Welcome back, everybody, to Cinelux Crypto. My name is Mike. Thank you for joining me this evening or this morning or wherever you are in the world. Right now, I am in Tulum, Mexico. So that is the part of the world that I'm hanging out in. I'm going to show you guys around just a little bit here. I'm at my rooftop pool up in uh, Coordinata Perfecta, Region 15, downtown Tulum, at a place that I actually bought back in 2017. Nice little rooftop action up here, and it's just gorgeous. We're surrounded by the jungle and um, just a lot of really cool people. So right now I kind of got this place to myself a little bit here and uh, we're just going to make a little bit of a video because I have finally settled in. It took me about a day or two to, to really settle in where I'm at and um, I was here a couple weeks ago with my family and now I'm here just hanging out with mama, having a good time. We're looking at some more properties and some more things to do. I do apologize if the audio is not um, what we're used to because I don't have my microphone with me. So let's just see how this works out. This is kind of a test run video to see what's going on. But really what I want to do is check in with you all. How you doing? Miss you guys. And um, I want to talk about the market here, guys. One thing in particular that I really want to talk about is what Ethereum's been doing. I remember in my last video, I was telling you guys, once Ethereum passes the $3,000 mark, I think we're gonna shoot up to $4,000 relatively soon. Uh, I know we got as high as about 3,500 before there was a little bit of a pullback, which obviously is very normal. And uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing with Ethereum right now. We're at $3,380, and I do expect us to have more upward movement as time goes on because Ethereum is doing big things. I'm sure you guys have been following the news. Uh, I will be making some news update videos here soon. I'm gonna try and get maybe one video out every day or every other day because I am kind of on vacation um, but anyways um, liking what I'm seeing Ethereum's doing well which is great for the altcoin market we are definitely scratching the surface of getting deep into the altcoin cycle that is upon us relatively soon Bitcoin is uh, still trading relatively sideways I know there was a little bit of a dip here uh, I, I didn't really get a chance to follow the news so I'm sure there's a reason why for that but uh, Bitcoin last time I checked in was fifty seven thousand dollars which is kind of a range where it's been been hanging out and we we in the altcoin market like to see a little bit of sideways action even though kind of a little bit of steady growth is always good uh, if Bitcoin really starts to move too quickly that kind of uh, slows down the altcoins but we also don't want to see Bitcoin pull back because then we all know the whole market goes down with it so uh, Bitcoin trading just under fifty five Okay, which is good. Ethereum totally cracking. I'm loving what I'm seeing from the health of the market. Uh, unfortunately, our, our little friend, uh, Doji Dogecoin, uh, Dogecoin uh, did a 100% pump, probably due to what's going on with all of the artificial pumps that continue to go on with Dogecoin. So, um, hey, 53 cents. Uh, will it hit a dollar? I don't care because <laughs> I'm not in Dogecoin and I never will be in the Dogecoin. I just don't like meme coins. I, I think this is a travesty for the cryptocurrency market when we could be promoting much better projects with much better utility and actual use case. So getting on down here beyond that, um, XRP is still doing its lawsuit thing. To see XRP about a buck fifty is pretty good because we want to see XRP do well, um, whether we're invested in it or not, because we like to see um, the SEC lawsuit get taken down because it would be good for the overall crypto. Uh, Tether, once again, Tether being part of um, Coinbase now is really good for Tether. Cardano, uh, even with all the news that's going on with Cardano, you guys, uh, the Africa deal, I know they made one deal with, uh, what was it, Ethiopia? Or, yeah, it might have been Ethiopia. I haven't been following the news as properly as I should be. Um, I think they just signed something up with either Tanzania or Kenya or some, something like that. But anyways, Cardano is moving heavily into Africa. We're going to bank the unbanked. They're going to be doing some really good things. A lot of humanitarian projects. I really, really dig what's going on with that. Uh, Uniswap, guys. Uniswap V3 is, uh, what is the date today? Today's the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Shout out to you, son. If you're watching this video, please water my plant. Um, so Uniswap V3 is launching tomorrow, apparently. So that could be a really good thing, especially if we get the Ethereum prices to start coming down a little bit with the integration of all the layer twos that's going on until uh, Ethereum itself has actually launched on, on uh, version two. That's going to be really good. So you start combining those things and it's all building up power towards the altcoin super cycle that we're about to get into. Uh, keep your eye on things. Litecoin, guys. I love to see Litecoin above $300. I was telling you guys to get in around $200 and you know sometimes these things take a little while but if you know what's coming and you know what's going on if you do follow the news you'll see projects like Litecoin are pretty heavily undervalued even at this nice pump it's been having over $300 still pretty undervalued there's a lot of you a lot of people talk trash on Litecoin I don't know why it's been around for a long time it's got a huge market cap it's relatively safe it's it's um, BTC pairing is way off I mean if we were looking at 2017 numbers Litecoin would be like $800 maybe even over $1,000 by now um, so 
like what I'm seeing with that chain link, you guys, chain link starting to crack. I told you it was been coiling up. It, it coiled up for a lot longer than I thought it was, but that sideways accumulation action is really good. I think the whales are virtually done or mostly done dumping the chain link. So I think chain link is also extremely undervalued. I would like to see chain link get itself right back into the top 10 again and uh, start heading towards $100. That's where I think it's a good layer for it to be. This is easily a $100 coin. Uh, should be more with all the partnerships and everything they're doing. Looks like my neighbors are partying. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, there's some good, good Mexican music going on in the background. Um, Bitcoin trash. We'll skip over that because it's trash. Um, if V Chain's been making some moves, you guys, it's been coiling up as well. Solana. Keep hearing more about Solana, guys. I really think. Uh, who was it? Somebody. Oh, Trevor Lawrence, actually, number one draft pick uh, in this year's NFL football draft, uh, went to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I guess he took his entire signing bonus of 24 million dollars and put it into predominantly Bitcoin. I think he bought some Ethereum, but Solana was on his list too, which I thought very, very interesting. So if Solana can actually start implementing some things um, with what it's trying to do with, to compete with Ethereum, that would be really good. I don't own any Solana yet. I just, I, I saw it at $2, never pulled the trigger, and it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. So it's really hard for me to get into Solana because I'm just so deep in other projects right now. But, you know, it's definitely getting worldwide news guys good things uh you know theta's doing its thing right there we got uh we got action guys we got action across the board um the cryptocurrency market is extremely healthy uh we had that 25 percent pullback recently i think we're on our way from recovering from that i think a lot of uh, big things are coming for bitcoin in general and the entire market so uh i just wanted to say hi to you guys and i wanted to show you around what's going on here uh fortunately i have better internet connection here in the place that i actually own and it's uh, no Nowhere near as nice as the place I stayed last time a couple weeks ago with my family, but hey, the internet's working, so I can actually get some work done. I'm looking forward to keeping you guys up to date with what's going on. Uh, please leave some comments down below uh, so I can interact with you guys. I, I love to bounce things off you guys and see what's going on. Let me know how you're feeling about the market. Let me know how you're feeling about you know the altcoin season coming. I know that it's it keeps getting kind of derailed a little bit here and there, but overall, if you you know zoom out, you can see a lot of major major growth happening. So. Um, Listen, if you're a new person to this channel, you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds, little red button. We all know how to do that. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you feel like doing it. It's your choice, but uh, the interaction is good for the videos, you guys. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I will read these comments later. I have some plans tonight to go out with a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while. He's going to show me around um, some other real estate options. And, uh, you know, hey, look, Tulum is doing big things. I will be posting some videos strictly uh, related to Tulum, the area that I'm in, Tulum, Mexico. Uh, it's in the river. Maya. It's just Quintana Roo. Great place, you guys. The be It's the best place in Mexico. And I haven't been all over Mexico. I've been to a few places, but uh, there's a lot of stuff going on down here. So they will be non-crypto related. So, you know, if you're not into that kind of stuff, uh, you can skip over those videos. I will let you know this is strictly a Tulum video, but I will be posting some of those. I've been eating at some pretty cool places and i um, going to be doing some adventures. Mom and I are probably going to head to Holbosch pretty soon. And uh, we might even talk about going to Bacalara as well. So that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Happy trading. Don't get shaken out. You know, dip happens. So there could be one right around the corner, but I can see the overall steady growth is really, really good for everything involved in crypto. So, hey, have yourself a good day. I will see you on the next video. Peace.